You know what time it is. Coffee time. My name is Van der Puchert, and this is Weekend Finding Frequency. Saturday. So, uh, I hope you've been having a good Saturday, or at least ending a Saturday, or starting a Saturday, wherever you are in the world. Um, Francie had a perfect Saturday. In fact, he's not back yet. He's been spending time with Grandma, having fun. Well, his parents, well, one of them were studying. So my wife is at the moment doing a short certification, two-day certification. I'm really proud of her sitting here studying, I think it is an agile, agile project manager or something like that. But anyway, it's uh, in that line, skilling up a little bit around project management. I'm struggling to get my coffee pot to close here. I think I'm wearing down the threads. So she's been doing that, and um, I've been spending the whole day spring cleaning, summer cleaning, my little office space. So I mentioned in a previous episode that we managed to do a bit of a layout change. Um, I've been hiding a lot of my books and stuff in closets everywhere, and arguably I'm a bit obsessive when it comes to buying two things, books and audio gear. And I have way too much audio gear. I need to actually sell some of it. But books, I think, is invaluable. Um, sometimes you need to trim them down. Uh, some of them aren't great. But um, I've managed to hang on to many of the books that I really love. And um, I tend to rush through them when I read because I've, I've been a bit bad with reading the last couple of weeks, funny enough. But I always want my books around because I use them as reference. And um, having my little library around, especially because I have a very diverse set of things that I do, it's always good to reference things and refresh the old memory. So uh, now they have a little bit of a home and hopefully part of my, my little home office because, as I mentioned, I don't think I'll be investing in a proper office this year. I think I need to see how my business will stabilize and also gives Martin and I the freedom to move around a little bit. If we want to go work from the countryside, I can do that. So uh, save a little money in that end and just clean up the old office space. I'm trying to get a bit, bit of a bigger desk, but uh, maybe that'll happen next week. So it's kind of exciting to do things like that, just freshen up the old space. I think if you're stuck at home and you need to do things, move things around, we've done it tried different configurations of the kitchen and my working space, Martha's working space. She's also got a nice new chair, so she's sitting more comfortably. So that that is uh, something that uh, is keeping us busy and uh, deserves a cup of coffee, I think. And then finally, just a little bit of a reflection. Yesterday I uh, got to connect with a very, very dear friend of mine, and I always like to refer to him as my mentor, Jeff Parks, a man that um, started a podcast years ago, and that podcast in the end also motivated me to go on this route of design. And this crazy journey that I've been on from a professional perspective is mostly thanks to him because I've been, I remember when I started my first job, I was driving from, uh, from uh, the southern part of Johannesburg to central Johannesburg, and that was a 45, sometimes even longer nearly hour, hour, 20 minutes drive due to traffic. And I used to listen to his podcast where he shared ideas and uh, inspired people in the world of design. And that motivated me to pursue that. And I had a good conversation with him. And uh, the funny thing is he's about a year or two older than me. And I still feel like the youngster when I talk to him just because of all his experience and the way that he has the specific outlook on life. Ooh, listen to that coffee. Mmm, let it brew. Excuse me, I just want to clean out my cup. There you go. to 
let this cool down a little bit. Um, anyways, back to Jeff. So we were just talking about that we are both in this weird space in our careers because what is next? And uh, sometimes we feel in limbo. I'm not entirely sure where this entrepreneurial adventure of mine is going to go. Is it even entrepreneurial? Am I just hanging on for dear life um, month to month? And then, I mean, I don't even know if it's true. If you have a job these days, like what is a job? <laughs> you know, things have been flipped on its head. But the one thing that he said and what we spoke about that I thought was an interesting thought, even like in the broader context, because Poland is also going into elections soon, I think tomorrow. I actually need to check these things. But um, whatever we do now at our age, we've done our stuff. And I'm not saying that I'm giving up. I mean, I've had a great career. I've had many adventures across the globe and found myself in this interesting situation. But a lot of the things that we need to do now moving forward is about helping and empowering and facilitating the growth of those who are younger than us, the new folks. And that resonated with me. Not that I think that I'm a, a saint that's now going to bestow my knowledge on anybody, on everybody else. That is, that's not definitely not me. I'm still learning every day, but I need to consider how I can lift someone up, you know, st stand at the, at the base of a tall obstacle and heave someone up, help them to overcome that obstacle because a helping hand is always needed. So that is interesting. That's an interesting thought and it resonated really well with me. It's tough to do because sometimes we are selfish. We want to do things for ourselves and I am definitely guilty of that. But as a mantra or something that I want to focus on and try my get, get my head around that, definitely something I want to think about. And then also from a political perspective, I said to Marta the other day that we need to start realizing that even, even for my father-in-law, for everybody else who is currently going out voting and probably around the age that I am or even older, that we are voting or we are going to vote for something that's going to affect the futures of our children. So, for example, whatever Marta votes for tomorrow is going to have an impact on my son's future. And I'm hoping that my son has a future where he has uh, the freedoms and uh, the people around him especially also has the freedoms to do what they, can, they need to do so that they can build a better world, that they don't have to be struggling and fighting and discussing some of these dumb things that we are doing currently, um, things that should have been sorted out a long time ago but isn't. So we need to start getting our shit together so that our next generation doesn't have to deal with, uh, with our legacies. Or rather, let I say that my legacy would be something of uh, that little lift. I don't think we can fix everything that has been done, but... If we are standing at the base and lifting someone over obstacle, and even for our son, for my son and for for our family and for the people younger than us, then that is what we need to do. And I'm not entirely convinced everybody is on that page. But yeah, sorry for the rambling, inconsistent thoughts. Um, I think it's in need, need of a, a coffee fix. I'll leave it there. And... Uh, Encourage you to think about how your actions is going to affect those who come after you. Grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and thanks for listening.